book of the day, thought of the day, Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Amazing book and uh, my favorite by Malcolm Gladwell. I'm still here in Norway, Oslo, my vacation home. Look how pretty it is out there. I was thinking, uh, wondering why I like this book so much. And I think it's because it reinforces a thought. Whenever you have a thought on your own and then you read it somewhere, I think you, you like the book more. And that is, why do we, as a society, study average so much? So every scientific report you'll see will be like, the average person sleeps eight hours a day. The average person, you know, who has a high paying job, went to college this many years. But forget average. What you wanna do is study the outliers. And that's why the book's called Outliers. What do exceptional people do differently? You study average, you end up with average. So in the book he studies, you know, top rags to riches stories, lawyers, he studies a guy who has the highest IQ in the world, but didn't get far or probably as far as he should have, didn't reach his potential. And he uncovers all kinds of amazing, um, I don't know if it's pure science, the book, some of it's obviously anecdotal, but for example, luck plays a big role, but not luck like you think. Luck about things like being born to a wealthier family does help, but there's other factors that can mitigate against being born Let's say you were born in poverty, or I was born to a single mom, and so the odds is somewhat are against you. And he examines the fine line between what we call luck, like being born into a rich family, Bill Gates kids or something, and then having opportunistic luck. That's what I call it. So, for example, if you're born healthy, that's lucky. But if you don't take advantage of the opportunity, it's all for nothing. I think some people think it's it's black and white like you're born unlucky so you have no chance or you're born lucky and therefore things will automatically come to you it's not really that way Arnold Schwarzenegger's body you know he became the most legendary bodybuilder of all time he had the physique for it but he had to grab the opportunity had he never worked out he would have just been probably a kind of stocky dude um, Albert Einstein had he not put in the work he had a math uh, physics mentor growing up. Bill Gates spent 10, 20,000 hours as a teenager programming. Sure, he had a school that was wealthy enough and a family that was wealthy enough to give him that opportunity to have a computer back in the 60s and 70s when most didn't, but a lot of kids had that. And he took that opportunistic luck and ran with it and sat down and literally programmed for sometimes 20 hours a weekend, he said he would do. So when you, there's a lot more to this book. I'm not gonna give a full summary just because it's a good book you should read on your own. But the takeaway for me is, no matter who you are, there's some luck to your life and you gotta grab that opportunity. It might be, uh, you know, you're lucky to be born in a country that's free or you might be born in a horrible place where the odds are all against you, but there might be one thing. Maybe you're good at soccer. Maybe you're good at writing. Maybe you're good at math. Maybe you're good socially with people. And the good news about life, you only gotta grab one opportunity and magnify it and get it large enough that it will make up for all those shortcomings. So for me, like I said, you look at my life statistically, the average I haven't gone to college so the average person who hasn't gone to college makes less than the average person. I mean, the average person who has gone to college makes more than the person like me that dropped out. But I didn't care about average. I found outliers, Bill Gates, uh, Einstein dropped out of high school for a little while, Richard Branson, all these, you know, there's a long line of people that have done the same thing, Paul Allen. And I said, let me magnify something I'm lucky in. And I'm a fairly social person. So most of my businesses have always been social in nature and I just magnified that one area, forgot about the rest that I didn't have quite as much luck in. And we live in a time where that's all you need, one big break. So read the book Outliers, it's really a good book. It's one of the shorter Malcolm Gladwell ones and uh, you'll find some other points in there. But leave a comment, what's your opportunistic luck, lucky event in your life or area in your life that you can focus on even though i'm sure you got some things that are you know some knocks against you
leave that as a comment and I'll talk to you soon.